Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for Season 1, Episode 12 of Dawson's Creek. This time the title of the episode is Beauty Contest. And we are here, we're back, we're ready for the final two episodes of Dawson's Creek Season 1. Uh, next episode is the Season 1 finale. I'm really, really excited for it. And I'm also really happy that I get have gotten to watch episode after episode. Honestly, this show is very bingeable. I wasn't expecting that. I thought I was gonna get a little bit, like, since the show is a little bit fast, uh, uh, like, slow pace, I thought, okay, maybe I will take it slow, maybe I will do that, like, two on one day and two the other day, but honest to God, or maybe it's the fact that I woke up extra early today. Who knows? But I'm loving this binge, and I hope you guys, if you're on Patreon, are loving this binge as well. So, like I said, we're gonna do episode 12. Previous episode, we had kind of like a... It wasn't a Halloween episode, technically, because it was like Friday the, Friday the 13th, you know? But it was a spooky type of uh, episode, and I really enjoyed it. Um, and I don't know, I feel like we're getting closer and closer to Dawson finally, finally accepting that he has feelings for Joey. And for Joy to be, to come clean and said, yes, I have had feelings for you for a long time now. So, now what I want, basically, because, <laughs> because like, I want pain. And, like, I see a couple and you, you, you will say, Julie, this is the couple that looks like they might get together. Why don't you ship it and be happy? No. I want the couple that is not likely to happen. Because, like I said, I like pain. <laughs> So for now, I'm I'm more into Joey and Pacey than I am about Dawson and Joey. Call me crazy, but I just I feel like they have such potential, and I want it. I want it to happen. Like, right? Am I the only one? No, of course not. There must be like a fandom for Joey and Pacey as well, right? Let me know if you're a part of that fandom. Give it a lot of thumbs up, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. And you can go to Patreon to watch the extended version. Did I say this already? I don't know. But go there, check it out. By the time you're, post you're watching this on YouTube, I'm already done with the, the first season, probably on season two already. And also, if you're seeing the blurish screen on YouTube, that means that YouTube hates me, you know? And I have put this, this same version of the reaction on my Facebook. And you can watch it without... Um, without the blur, for free. So go and check it out. Um, but for now, I think that's about it. Without further ado, let's just begin with season one, episode 12 of Dawson's Creek. Here we go. Among the different insect species. Ew, what are you watching? Especially taped on entomological sexual behavior. <laughs> What? It's a little visual aid from my biology term paper. Well, how does she know which one she's attracted to? They look the same. Instinct. Unlike people. <laughs> Unlike people you. find mates by instinct? You know what? Maybe there is some truth to what you're saying, but you can't tell me that pure animal instinct doesn't have something to do with what kind of guy you're attracted to. Um... All right. Um... What... No. <laughs> what an animalistic, like, feeling you will have towards someone like Dawson. Like, if you want someone, like, you know, and that is just that need of just, like, Dawson? Really? Dawson? Dawson? I don't know, man. I haven't the slightest idea, Dawson. The tradition which celebrates the grand achievement of being born rich. The combination <laughs> of which is this asinine formal dinner held at the Yacht Club where some young nubile whose daddy owns the bank is crowned Miss Windjammer. This the most archaic display of ageism, racism, and sexism on a man. Do they have a swimsuit competition? <laughs> I don't think so. You know, maybe I could be like one of those guys who warms up the girls before they go on stage. It's not a porn <laughs> you know, my mother used to enter me in these in these disgusting little miss pageant protests. Well, I guess you throw the baton. Meaning? Nothing. You should enter. What yeah. what what No, I mean serious. I mean I mean you're beautiful. I mean no. What did he mean by that? 
Look, Dawson, I get that you are special. <laughs> but what the hell does that mean? Is he slot shaming her again? Let me guess, you twirled the baton. You twirled the baton. What does that mean? What does that mean? Fucking, I fucking hate Dawson. Backhanded insults disguised as compliments. It's really a novel approach to winning back a woman's affections. Not really. Well, <laughs> if you're gonna give it a shot, I don't know, winning her back is evolved into some sort of bizarre hobby. You're annoying. Extremely annoying. Look, Joey, you know, now that the proverbial wedge we so fondly refer to as Dawson Leary is no longer between us, we could actually be friends. That's true. I know, I know, it's a bizarre concept, but we might find that we have something more in common than just the boy next door. I think so. Okay. <laughs> She's not really good at making friends, is she? We don't have to, like, wash each other's hair or do each other's nails. <laughs> no, I mean, you came, like, I don't mean, I mean, the options are right there. Hey. Oh yeah, I spent, just spent the entire morning with my father telling me what a scholastically inept, athletically challenged, underachieving loser I am. I'm fine. Aww. You said that? Well, you're more than welcome to crash in my house for a few. Thanks, but I was thinking of something a little more permanent. <laughs> really? Please forget about it. Your father's never gonna let you move out of his house. Actually, he told me as soon as I want to become an emancipated minor, I should just show him where he needs to sign. The fuck? Really? First and last, two fifty a month. Yeah, except I'm afraid your God-given ability to relieve yourself standing up has rendered you ineligible. Yeah, once again, <laughs> sexual discrimination rears its ugly head. <laughs> oh, wouldn't that just piss my dad off? <laughs> you know, Joe, you're I kind of like feel bad for 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 Pacey. He really seems to have a really bad family life. You know. I was in the school. I don't get it. Why is it that every time I give you a compliment, you look at me like I'm trying to hit on you? <laughs> I don't know. Like... Are you? Are you? Are you? Jen, like, I, I could totally, like, drop the, the notion of you and Dawson, like, this. If you say that you want to hang out, like, that way with Joy. Like, this. I will be like, who the fuck is Dawson? You know? I know the title of this show is Dawson's Creek. But it will be Lesbian Creek if you want it to. I guess it's just because it makes me feel a little uncomfortable, that's all. Why? Wait, I don't like compliments I know either. I'm not pretty. The fuck? Stop it. Are you blind? You know, when, I joke, when I was dating Dawson, I was petrified that any day he'd take the blinders off and realize how gorgeous you are. <laughs> yeah, right. Jen, your lesbianism is showing. Go off, though. <laughs> don't you should enter the Miss One Jammer pageant. What drugs are you on? Yeah, seriously, I'll coach you. You could easily take that evening gown competition and the scholastic, the academic part to be a slam dunk for you, Joey. Let's not go overboard on this let's be friends female bonding thing. Yeah. <laughs> Jen, Jen, come on, we're actually that we have fun together. Come on, Miss America. <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm about to set the women's movement back 20 years? Yeah, well, Probably. if I were you, I'd start filling out those Ivy League applications, all right? The competition does not look like much. This is unconstitutional. I assure you, Mr. <laughs> Whitman, there is nothing in the United States Constitution that says you have the right to enter this patch. <laughs> and there's nothing in your rule book that says I can't, huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, if you have a tendency for cross dressing, are you? Come on, let him be. Casey is trying to enter the Miss Windjammer pageant. Why not? Last year, Ashley Elliott successfully sued to join the boys' football team. I, I think mean, it's one of the more intrepid things Pacey's ever done. He's blown the gender gap wide open. I mean, why not? Why not? Well, I guess we all know what's in it for you. Dan Rather. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you guess do some kind of expose for the paper? Get out. It's it's just Joy that it's just that he thinks that that's not your thing, right? It's really it's really not her thing, and she's like, like so against it. But Jen convinced her, so that's why he's like, "Wait, you're kidding me, right?" Potter entering a beauty patch. This is classic. Oh. I didn't realize you were serious about this. I mean, it, it, it kind of caught me by surprise. Yeah. And because we have to make everything about you, Dawson. Like, this isn't about you, but you are trying to make it about you. 
<gasps> Dawson and Larry for all of you guys. You know, I never figured you for a pre-op transsexual, but now that I think about it, evening gowns. Yeah, yeah. Back back then they used to. I'm, I'm glad that we have evolved, you know, in like terms like this ones are no longer in the vocabulary of TV. I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad. You know, ladies, I say we vote Hannah Miss Congeniality. What do you say? <laughs> you know, the reasons why he's there is like, he's not, like, he's thinking as, oh, of course, a glass clown is coming here to mess things up. But like, in reality, he's trying to look for that money you know, to win that money to get out of his house. You know, because he... That's not a really good environment for him. You know, you just think about that. And same goes for Joey, who wants to enter because she wants to have a shot at maybe going to college. You know, $5,000 can be something to help her achieve those goals, you know. Unlike the other girls who are there for the fun of it. <laughs> Look, whatever your motivation is, I am not really against beauty pageants, you know. Um, is it outdated? Yes, but like, no one is forcing the girls to, like, participate, right? Joey, walking in heels is probably the hardest part. Probably. Don't worry, you're doing great. Almost. In New York, I didn't exactly hang out with a lot of other girls, okay? I mean, I've never even had close girlfriends. And, and as far as I can tell, neither of you. <laughs> you know, don't you feel like you're missing out on something? Why yeah! Why you just go hang out with the Cape Side Pep Squad? I mean, associating with me won't exactly send your popularity points soaring up the social Richter scale. For the same no, reason. but like she wants a friendship, a true friendship with a girl, you know? I want to be uh, a Pacey, pot. can you, um, do you do anything else? <laughs> well, we can revisit the talent problem later, but <laughs> what are we going to do about the evening wear? Well, actually, I could get my hands on this tasty little red polyester number that my sister wore as a bridesmaid. <laughs> <laughs> See, if you want to win this thing, you've got to take it seriously. Yeah. If you win, and the Associated Press could be all over this. You've become a political activist, challenging social stereotypes. I kind of just wanted to make some extra cash. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's really what's what he wants to do. Who? Me, me and Dawson? No, you and the, the, the lamppost. <laughs> We're just figuring things out. You know, I mean, it was a little rough for a while, but we've got time. I mean, it's not like he's going anywhere. Kaboom! His house explodes. So, because, like, it? I'm so used to watching Riverdale that those things happen sometimes. <laughs> and then you get superpowers. <laughs> I fucking love and hate Riverdale at the same time. Band-aids on her knees and the one braid falling out. I don't know. Maybe that's just how it's meant to be. Maybe hopefully how we see each other. You know what they say: plenty of fish in the sea, right? Yeah, Pacey. Yeah. For 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 you, Joey. No, for you, Jen. Joey lately? I don't know. I mean, or she's just but cool, but she's been avoiding me. I will and, avoid you. And I don't know what to do. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm like the only one. I'm, I just don't think I could ever get past that. If Joey and I got together, it'd be... I'd just be a little incestuous. So what you're saying is you don't want her, but you don't want anybody else to have her either? Yeah, because he's uh, like that. Please tell exactly. us something about yourself. Or help with children with special needs. That means like when they're crippled or retarded. Or something. Yeah, thank God we don't use that that word either. <laughs> that's a, the that's a, the weird thing about the shows is that a bisexual flag though it kind of looks like that right anyways back to what we were saying is that you know they used to use all that those words but now imagine if someone will say that it's not a political correct thing to say you'll be canceled if you do that so i'm glad that we or have gone to some maybe better i'll become an point. actress or a model price gap's pretty far away that's the point 
She wants to get away. That you'll miss. I mean, family. Friends. Friends. Me specifically. Of course. But life goes on, Dawson. Things change. They don't have to. Yes, they do. <laughs> Every the cameraman is like, should I continue recording this? <laughs> or are they just bantering to one another? What is happening with these kids? <laughs> Everything changes eventually. I look like a dweeb. No, you don't. Everyone's gonna laugh at me. Oh, look, I want you to put this Vaseline on your teeth for me, okay? Why? Just trust me, all right? It keeps your lips from sticking to your teeth when you smile. Wait a second, I have to smile? <laughs> you said anything about smiling? <laughs> She's like, smiling? <gasps> really? <laughs> I don't mind all of this, but like, smiling. <laughs> Hello. If you make one joke about coming out of the closet, I swear. <laughs> yeah, man, it's too obvious. Let me get that. Tell me the truth, Dawson. Do you think I'm a complete tool for doing this? Since when did you start concerning yourself with public opinion? I think he's very brave that you're doing this. Your steal for doing this. Really? Yeah. Here, uh, my mom said to put that on your teeth. Why? I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> and so now, ladies and gentlemen, here are the contestants. She looks gorgeous. She looks gorgeous. I have a point. I wish you'd get to it. <laughs> uh, come on, Jen. I mean, it's pretty obvious that you're missing the undivided attention of our friend Dawson. Maybe feeling a little dump as remorse? No. You're way off, all right? Tell me, is it the possibility of losing him to somebody else that suddenly makes him seem so attractive? No! You really think that I'm that shallow, huh? No. I think you're that human. Aw, that's sweet. Is that my doing, Mrs. Larry? I gotta tell you, you are funny. You're charming, the audience loves you. Seriously? <laughs> you may not have a snowball's chance in hell of winning, but uh, you're definitely keeping me from falling asleep. Oh, I'm not even in the running? Pacey, you know this club would rather see the whole place go down in flames before they would actually crown a male Miss Windjam. Yeah, but for me to be written off, it's just completely unfair. Honey, fair and beauty pageants aren't exactly synonymous. God damn it, he thought he was really doing a good thing, you know, and he had a chance. Just thinking approximately. And don't forget to smile. Uh huh. Ooh ooh. Oh uh oh. Singing on my own from Les Misérables. Les Misérables. Josephine Potter. Yes, go. Oh, you did an incredible job on Joey. But I miss our friendship too, Dawson. Me too. And. And not just our friendship, but I guess what I'm trying to say is on my own. Sweetie. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Thank you. Although doesn't this doesn't this moment remind you of like and since the actress who plays Jen was on that movie when on The Greatest Showman and the girl is singing what is the song that she's singing for the first time and he's behind the scene and he's like you know amazed by it what is the song I don't remember but like right it kind of feels like that wait you're not thinking of doing something stupid are you those people suck how can I possibly leave here without letting them know that little known fact? I mean, I'm going down. I got nothing to lose. Wait a minute, Pacey. Excuse me, Dawson. I got a show to do. Oh, Pacey shit. Whitter has changed his program. Instead of a magic act, he will perform a dramatic interpretation. <laughs> well, I'm not William Wallace. <laughs> I am Pacey Whitter. <laughs> Well, judgment stops today, because that which scorns me deems to own me. And I am willing to trade the trappings of my dysfunctional life for one chance, just one chance to stand in front of my fellow countrymen and tell them that you may take my life, but you will never take my freedom! Yes! <laughs> Actually, that was really good. 
That was really good and very brave of him to do, you know? You know, if she does win, it's only for the sympathy vote because she is a total charity case. Well, what shut mean? up! Well, you don't know her story? Oh, oh my god, check this out. She lives in a trailer with her sister who just had an illegitimate baby with her black boyfriend. <gasps> How disgusting. You can ask her yourself. She'll tell anyone who will listen to a pathetic sob story. And I'm sure she I wanna why do like why does this type of things bring out the worst out of people? Like Oh my god. I mean, how could I have stooped this low for money? I, I might as well have just sold myself in a street corner. I don't know. Would you, no. you could win this thing? Why do you think they're slamming you? They're terrified of you. Yeah, exactly. They know that you can beat them. Yeah. I don't want their money, Dawson. I don't want anything from these people. It I makes me I don't think it's sick. about the money anymore. I would tell my best friend, who is always too afraid to get up in front of class for show and tell, how incredibly proud I am of her. That was really sweet. You know, I think she has got more guts and talent and strength of character than all the Hannah on Weddings of the world put together. Thank you, Dawson. Thank you. For your final question, Ms. Potter, please tell us what words of advice you would bestow upon today's youth. <laughs> I'd like to tell today's youth that uh, no matter where life takes you, big cities, small towns, you'll inevitably come across small minds. People who think that they're better than you are. Like People you, bitch. think that material things or being pretty or popular automatically makes you a worthwhile human being. It really doesn't. I'd like to tell today's youth that none of these things matter unless you have a strength of character, integrity, a sense of pride. Hold on. And if you're lucky enough, and if you're lucky enough to have any of these things, don't ever sell them. Don't ever sell out. So when you meet a person for the first time, please don't judge them by their station in life. Who knows? That person just might end up being your best friend. <sighs> is she kind of accepting the fact that she is the best friend? Thank you. That was really sweet. I really hope Joey Our wins. Our second runner-up and winner of two tickets to the Rialto for any Tuesday or Thursday matinee is... Miss Hannah Von Wenning. <laughs> yes. I'm glad. Congratulations. <laughs> Our first runner-up and winner of a free day of beauty at Betty's Hair Barn is Miss Josephine Potter. Okay, so she didn't win either. She's first runner-up, and who won? <laughs> you have to pack up, right? Of this okay. year's Miss Windjammer is Miss Roberta Crump. Oh. Okay, it's not like she didn't deserve it. She was talented, she's dedicated, she's okay. Joey. Honey, you were truly spectacular tonight. You know I voted for you. Yes, of course. You be very proud of yourself. Yeah. Thanks, this is Harry. Wait, stop looking at her the like that. The first time of my life, I'm completely out of your shell. There, there's this, like, total, uh, newfound confidence. That just seemed to burst from you. It's like he saw her for the first time. It's taken for you to get up there and do that tonight. <sighs> I've known you forever, but. This is the first time you see her, right? I feel like I'm seeing you for the first time tonight. I figure. What is it? Joey? Did you say anything wrong? Why? What's wrong? I don't know, Dawson. There's something that's just not right about this. 
No matter what happened, we can't go back to the way things were. Dawson, you've had a lifetime to process your feelings for me. And I can't spend the rest of mine hoping that you might throw a general glance in my direction in between your tortured teen romances with whatever Jen Lindley rolls into your life next. Wait, but... Joe, but, don't but, walk away from this. Don't do that! So this is what you wanted and you're pushing it away! Okay, you know what? Do it. Because <laughs> I don't want them together, though. But it's just that I want her to be happy. I have to, Dawson. No, you really don't. It's just, just that you think that she... Evening. Damn. Come to gloat? <laughs> well, aren't we a couple of black sheep? Oh, uh, yeah. Don't do this. Oh god damn it! These are not the couples I By wanted. By the way, that that was a really ballsy thing you did in there tonight. Last time I had a school break, I came home to an empty house. Seems uh, my vacation created a, a scheduling conflict in my parents' social calendar. Oh, you kid. Lovely. Roger will spend more years of his life in that house than I will. Which one's Roger? The dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, damn. And she was trying to get back together with him. Hi. So how'd your debut as a newsman turn out? Okay, I didn't give it much of a chance. And you're right, I, I really didn't give you a good reason for the breakup, but the truth is I don't even know if I had a good reason. I... Is it too late for me to ask you for another chance? <laughs> He's like, You're kidding. God, Jen. Uh, uh, no, he doesn't want it. I guess I am too late. It, it's just that, um. Okay. You know, now's. He needs really to think about it. Oh, we have one more episode for season one. We just titled Decisions. <laughs> okay guys so that was the end of season one episode 12 of Dawson's Creek and yes there are especially with you know those TV shows from the 80s from the 90s that don't have the filter that we have nowadays so honestly I don't you know the times were different things were different and to me, all that matters is that we have moved past some, you know, transphobic comments and, you know, some really bad comments about, you know, people with disabilities and things like that, that we have moved past that. And those words are no longer welcome, you know, in writers' rooms and in TV shows, on TV shows or movies and things like that. And I think that, that you know... It's good progress, and I can't really hold them to the same st standard because it's different, you know? It's a different time, you know, the view on things like disability and uh, sexuality were completely different in the 80s and the 90s than it is today. So if a show today will dare to do something like that, then I will have, you know, a saying about it. But, like, you know... Not right now. They wanted to... I don't know. They, 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 it's just what comes with the time that this was uh, written and shot and all of that. So, it's fine. Um, it's not fine, but it's like, whatever. You know, it's not part of the, of the essence of the show. They are not trying to be that way all the time. It's just that, sadly, there will be here and there some comments la like that, right? Um, but I did really liked that on this episode we kind of challenge uh, the gender roles for the pageant. I think that it was very interesting. Um, and I love that Pacey just went for it, you know. Um, sadly, his attempts always seem to fall into the, oh, that's just Pacey being the ca clown clown. The class clown and like no one actually takes him serious so it's really you know sad you know not even not even uh dawson's mom was really like 
Okay, I don't care what they say. If I think you did a good job, you're gonna get my vote, you know, no matter what. But she was like, yeah, you, you're, you're making everybody laugh and the audience likes you, but like, there's not gonna, there's no way they're gonna crown you Miss. Whatever it was the title, you know. Um, so he was really upset and in his final act, he said, you know what, you you came here for the class clown, you're gonna get it, you know. And I feel sad, you know, that that's what he ends up doing, you know, because he really, really, really uh, likes, I mean, he really needed the money to get out of his uh, of a very toxic environment where he's growing up in his house, you know, so uh, it was important for him, and it was important for all of them, I think, in different uh, ways. Not any of them have any, you know, um, um, their reasons are not more valid than the others, you know. That's what I mean. So I, 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 I felt bad for Pacey, you know, uh, especially because, like, if he did a good job, then just, you know, put the points that you just think that he deserves, you know. But he might have to be fighting this whole class clown uh, label that everyone in the town has put on him um, a bit m harder, you know. And that makes me sad. But I think that Pacey was, will be able uh, to do it, you know. Um, then you have Joey, who enters the contest for also, you know, very important reasons, which is for her to save up uh, money for her college tuition, maybe, because she really wants to get out of Cape, Cape Side, you know. She really wants to just get out, move on, and see the world, and, you know, just be as far away from this place as she can, you know. Um, and I think that that's very joy you know um and i i would love for her to to do that you know but thing is that she entered the contest um doing that and like of course dawson is kind of like at first he's like <laughs> wait are you serious you know he's like joking around um but the thing is that it was kind of understandable because like a scene or two scenes prior to that she has been saying that how terrible these pageant, pageants are and, and, you know, everything that she feels about it. So when he sees her, he's like, wait, is there a point to it? There is, is there an angle that you're trying to work on this? Are you trying to do an expose on something? You know, he goes to that thought of, like, her being, you know, inc incredibly cynical at, po at moments. And he doesn't get it. You know, he doesn't get it, he doesn't get it, until the moment that he sees her as an actual, uh, you know, lady, for, you know, for lack of words. Um, but he sees her in a different light, you know, before, he has never thought of her as anything other than uh, his best friend. He even says that, you know, he even feels that she's, he's, she's like a, like a sister to him. Which is kind of like, okay, we get it. That's what you feel. It's completely understandable. But then he sees him, sees her in a different light, which is her just, you know, putting a little bit of makeup and a fancy dress. And, you know, out of nowhere, he finally sees her. Which we can't really judge Dawson for doing that because it's kind of the same thing Pacey did. Because first is like, Joey is that type of friend who is just your friend, you know? And like, you you are not able to see her as, as, as a cute girl who, you know, could have a relationship, could have a boyfriend. You know, you see her and she's too cynical for that whole thing, you know? And Pacey gets a look at, at her and he's like, okay, whoa, like, Joey is an actually really attractive young woman, you know? And Dawson does the same on this episode, uh, which is kind of like, you think, you think, um, uh, you think Joey will be like, yes, fucking finally, you dumbass. But no, <laughs> no, she is more so the, okay, so this is not a version of me that you're going to see that often because 
this is not me. And like, I want you to see me for who I am. Right. And when you see me for who I am, all you think about is that I'm your best friend. So now that I have a little bit of makeup and you feel a little bit of attraction to me, you like, you want to try it. And like, that's not what she wants. And you will be saying like, dude, she wants this. She wants that. You want this. You want that. Like you will actually try to be like, girl, like focus, you know, like he's finally seeing you. But no, that's not the way she wants it. It's not how she believes that this could happen. But sometimes I feel like, like Joey has this idealized idea just like Dawson had with who his first girlfriend will be. That was Jen. He holds her up to this standard of like, she has to be perfect at all times and perfect, perfect, perfect. But that's not always the, um, you know, that's not what happens all the time, you know. And I think that she also has this idealized version of who Dawson is and who Dawson can be. But I don't, I think she's going to just end up disappointed and realizing that all this time, yes, she might have had a crush on him and they might go and do the, the relationship thing. But at the end of the day, it's really, they're really better off as friends than, you know, boyfriend and girlfriend. And I'm saying this extremely biased, being extremely biased because I don't want them together. Because I think Joey and Pacey are just, they are just it for me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't think past the fact that I find their chemistry so powerful that I do not want to see them hooking up with anyone else other than each other. I'm really sorry that I am really close-minded in that aspect, but I just gotta say that, I just gotta tell you guys the truth, you know, it, it is what it is, and... Yeah, I just don't feel it with Dawson and 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 Joey. And it feels like yes, this is the thing that you wanted. This is the thing that is supposed to happen, but ultimately, it's not what I want. It's not even. I don't think it's even what what Joey wants or what Dawson wants. And like, let's remember that these are really, really young teenagers. You know, and at least they behave like teenagers, not like Archie when he fought a bear. You know, these are actual real teenagers with actual real problems. You know, so it's understandable. And then you have um, Jen, who is like she could like Pace is really good at reading people you know and in this opportunity he was like okay so now that you might see him going away now is when you want him back and it kind of feels like that's what she wanted um but honestly things could have been too much for her at the moment that she broke up with him and it might have been a mistake for her to do so um i don't think he she necessarily pushed joy towards 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 uh Dawson but I think that she is regretting the fact that she dumped him you know and now he's like this is what I wanted but now I have to like really think about it because like I also kind of just had a thing with Joey and I'm glad that he thought of Joey at that moment and he's like no you know what I actually have to like figure some things out before I jump into a relationship with you again so yeah it was extremely um sad for <laughs> to see Jen trying and failing, you know, but yeah, yeah. It was it was it was it was painful. <laughs> I feel bad for Jen, but honestly, it was going to it was going to happen that way, I think, because I think that they are just setting up uh Dawson and Joey. They are setting it up. And, like, I, for no reason, will want to see Joey. I mean, will not not want to see Pacey and Jen together. At all. I don't want that. <laughs> and I don't. I also don't want Dawson and Joey. I want Dawson and Joey only if it means that Joey will finally understand that that's her best friend and that she really did have a crush on him, but that... You know, she no longer has a crush on him. So hopefully, hopefully it don't happen, you know. <laughs> Anyways, 
Uh, for now, that's it. I really like this episode. We can continue the conversation down in the comment section down below. Um, it was a great episode, like I said. Um, and like the more episodes that go by, the more I love Joey and Pacey. In this order, I, I love Joey. Do I love Joey or Pacey more? I think I love Pacey more. Or maybe Joey. I think they're tied for number one. So Joey and Pacey, which are tied for, for number one. Then there is Jen. Then, well, then there's Dozen. <laughs> there it is, because there are only like four main characters, you know? The other ones don't count. But, like, doesn't, like, if there's someone else on the story, like, I don't like Cliff. I don't like the ex-boyfriend, you know, what is Jen's ex-boyfriend. I don't like him either. So, it really isn't like, oh, he's my third mo most favorite character. It's just the fact that there are only, like, four, you know. So, and the first two are just the same. Like, I love Joey and Pacing the same, you know. <laughs> he comes by default on, uh, on, on number three. But for lack of other characters. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyways. Um, I liked the episode. I really enjoyed it. And I also li did like the, the fact that... Uh, um, Dawson for a minute kind of like got outside of himself. Outside of his head. And he was like, no, I'm actually extremely proud of you. And the reason why everyone is talking shit about you is because they're afraid. Because you are badass. I love that. I really, really love that. One of um, Dawson's rare uh, moments where he is actually supportive to his friends. So, yeah. Anyways, we have one more episode to watch. I'm so excited. I can't wait. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys continue supporting for more. Give it a thumbs up if you love Dawson's Creek. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. Uncut reaction is always posted for some Patreon and... That's it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for Dawson's Creek. That's it. Bye, guys.